Hello and welcome, Toxic Saltback Midnight here, and today is my turn to reveal some cards. And of course, I got Death Card, the most toxic factions in the game. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is so funny, isn't it? And anyway, you're not here to hear me babble, so let's jump right into the first card. I got two rare cards for you today, and one legendary. Well, technically, two legendaries, uh, you will see, it's kind of two cards in one. So, first off, we got Sergeant Tarak. I hope I pronounced that right. It's a 6 energy dude for 6-6, six, six, so first heads and well distributed. And he has a rally effect due to damage if target dies, gain poisonous and plus 1 plus 1. I really like this one. I will certainly play this in my Rust deck because even if you don't have the possibility to kill something with that rally, you still can finish off the target with Rask's ability. It's 8 energy, but you get a 6-6 six, six and deal 6 damage to an enemy troop. Right now Death Guard is really missing troops which have an immediate impact on the board state. And this card is not super strong in my opinion, it's solid, but it certainly goes in the right direction. It's not Captain Corvo or something, but still very good. Currently we have Gisolk Terminators and the Gertrude Fall Terminators in the 6 energy spot as viable troops. Well, sorry Plague Elite, you're terrible, <laughs> uh, because Malgator exists in this game, you know. And both are somewhat vanilla, you know, they don't do anything to turn the play them, they are just big and fat and all that stuff. I still think this card is best suited for Turok Rask, but nonetheless it gives the other Warlords an uh, alternative to play in the 6 energy spot. The conditional poisons doesn't seem to be that big of a deal, you know, it's just a good Fall Terminator who does 2 damage and is poisonous, but 7-7 seven, seven poisonous, yeah, most things will die anyway if they attack it. The poisonous thing will play a role when you see my legendary card, but first I got the second rare here. This one is already in the game as, a, as an event Warlord and as the vanilla human version, so to say. It's a Corrupted Krulgor, it's also a 7 energy card, like the normal Ignatius Krulgor. It's a 5-7 five, seven for 7, so okay stats, poisonous again, and it has an activated ability. 3 energy put in play when Battleflies. Battleflies are those 2-7 unstoppable demons with maintenance 2 and poisonous again. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this card to be honest. Uh, the only thing going on for it is that it's a 7 drop and Death Guard currently lack good options in that spot. And that's about it. Yeah, it's poisonous and as mentioned this will play a role when you will see my legendary card. But let's take a look at this card as a standalone. So 5-7 for 7, is it mentioned okay? It's well distributed and so on. Uh, the ability is the problem here though. If you use it, you basically skip an attack with a 7 energy troop for 5. And uh, you use 3 energy to summon a 4 energy troop, which is fair, I guess. And that troop has a maintenance too, so you basically spend 5 energy, 3 energy for the ability and next turn you will have 2 energy less to summon a battlefly. How good is that? Yeah, I'm not so certain that it's super good. Next turn, if you want to use the ability again, you should go for it, then you have 2 battleflies and a maintenance 4. So yeah, you're cool, you have a board of battleflies which deal 2 damage and all, but you're at 6 energy in a 10 energy turn, so yeah, I hope you see the problem here. I wish he would summon plague marines or something instead, like uh, in the event where you could transform troops into plague marines or something like that. Solid body, kind of a vanilla troop. I will certainly not use its ability ever, except it's like, I don't know, in event when you're out of cards this might be not too shabby. Right now in this state I don't see myself playing this to be honest. <laughs> Alright, and the last card, the legendary. It's a 2-in-1 card and it's also a new mechanic. Well, not really a new mechanic, it's a reskin of an existing legion mechanic. Let's take a look at it. It's Chosen of Nurgle. Chosen of Nurgle is a one energy mission. It's not a tactic. Mission is basically like, uh, what's it called? Forbidden Secret? Yeah, Forbidden Secret from the Dark Angels. It always starts in your hand. You can mulligan it, but by default, if you have it in your deck, you will always have it in your starting hand and you will have to do something and you will get a reward. Here, you have to start your turn with at least one poisonous unit. Unit means warlord or troop. Uh, basically just true, but if you happen to transform into uh, Demon Prince Mortarion, this will automatically tick every turn, but yeah, right now it's kind of difficult to get Mortarion Whispers off, so basically you have to play poisonous troops and keep them around on your board. Alright, so this kind of leads you to a direction how you want to play your deck, and as a reward you get Herald of Pestilence, that's a one energy tactic, your Warlord gains give plus two plus two and poisonous to death guard troops you wouldn't play that's hella strong in my opinion if we compare it to forbidden secret which is a terrible card let's be honest here it costs too much like okay one energy doesn't cost too much but the reward is three energy you have to pick then the forbidden secret and then for three energy you play it that's why no one plays this card it's too much of an effort and too much of an energy cost to pull it off it's simply not worth it and here it's just one energy you can 
basically play it when when you're done with the mission you can instantly play it and then all death card troops become boosted if you play them pretty good maybe we will see cards like Chen Munition being played because of this. Uh, does it justify it? Yeah, as mentioned, I'm not sure. But Aragold certainly wants us to motivate playing as hard as builds, so to say, and playing board control more than like, I don't know, burn or warlord centered stuff. Because if you want to make this happen, you certainly need to play the slow game. For example, imagine this when you play first wave, you get instead of 1 4s, 3 6s with poisonous and frontline. A hell is strong, certainly. I really have to see the other cards Everguild has prepared for us because to make this work, so the mission itself, you really need some early game poison troops which you can keep around because right now I wouldn't bother trying it. There are simply not enough troops which are worth playing right now and you will have trouble early game. There are no good poisonous early game troops as much as I know. So yeah, we will see. Right now it looks like a better Forbidden Secret, but that's not much of an accomplishment, so I'm pretty excited. I'll certainly build a new Rask deck around that, since this is kind of a, the Death Card Midrange Warlord and also my favorite one. So yeah, and these were my cards. Well, I'd say let's jump into Discord and have a discussion. I'll see you there, thanks for tuning in. Midnight out.